Wow. Y y let's actually, um, I don't, I don't feel like doing it, but you could play the intro to my Thor review and it would perfectly match the Dark World. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. Thor, the boring world. I mean, the dark world. So Thor, the dark world is the sequel to Thor, and essentially in this movie, the bad guy from very long time ago, Malekith's like, I want to go destroy Asgard. So then he goes to destroy Asgard, and Thor's like, no, you can't. So then they battle, and there's an ether, and there's an infinity stone in it. Ooh, let's talk about it. All right, so like I said in my Iron Man 3 review, I didn't see pretty much any MCU movies into theaters until Age of Ultron, counting this movie. I saw this one far after when I did DVD, and I remember my sister saying it, and she was like, oh, it's it's really good. It's great. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll see it. And I didn't end up seeing it. But I had a low point in seeing movies in 2013 and 14. I don't think... I saw, like, the Lego movie in 2014, and there's there's something else I saw. I can't remember what it was, but there's got to be something else I saw. I didn't, like, see anything in 2014. Now I've seen a lot from 2014, but you get the point. Now, if you ask most people, what is the worst Marvel movie? The usual one that brings up, they bring up Thor The Dark World. And it's mainly because after seeing movies like Iron Man 3 and The Avengers, you'd think that they would have stopped being in their phase one stage of them figuring it out. Exactly why Captain Marvel isn't very good. It's just whatever. Um, but... Uh, the Dark Worlds, yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's not, not that good, but it's not bad. It, it's, it's, it's fine. Here's one thing I'm going to say in this movie, and that is uh, Loki and Thor both love the two characters. I don't hate most of the characters in this movie. I mean, that's a joke. I don't mean that at all. I like Loki. I like Thor. I don't really like anyone else. The Seven Warriors, all his friends, thanked God Ragnarok for murdering all them because they were not very good characters. They were just boring uh, Natalie Portman's not very good. She's a good actress. I don't get why she sucks in these in Thor and in what was it the, the Star Wars prequels? Why is she so bad in these movies? She's a good actress. I've seen her be really good, and she unfortunately really sucks in these movies. But honestly, to the core of what you really want to look at in this movie is that it is just fine. It's just a fine, inoffensive, unimpressive, unexceptional Marvel movie. Where it's like, okay, it's a good spectacle piece. This The visuals are pretty good. The action is sometimes pretty awesome. They think they do Thor well in action-wise. They do well at developing Thor's character. While some people say he's one of the most boring in the MCU. I think that once they figure... In Dark Worlds, they actually kind of figure out what to do with him. They start rolling with Thor. And in Age of Ultron, they push him even more. And what's the next? He's in Ragnarok next, and then they shove him in Ragnarok. Now he's amazing. Infinity War, they no matter. The point is, is that at this point in the MCU, they start figuring him out, which is one of the best parts about this movie, is that they really figure out how to develop Thoki, Loki and Thor. They have a good relationship in this movie. They have a very good time developing and playing with those characters. But everything else in this movie is just kind of fine. It just doesn't try, and it's not impressive at all. It's just, okay, it's a good action spectacle. Kids will enjoy it. I don't enjoy it very much, but it, it's it's big and it's cool. Whatever. You know what isn't fine in this movie, and that's Malekith. There are a lot of bad MCU villains. There are some terrible ones. Like, well, I I, I could go for days on them. Ivan from what was it, Iron Man two. Yeah, there's some bad villains in the MCU. And who reigns as my worst? Malekith. This guy is a horrible villain. He's, one, he's just the same thing we see over and over and over again. And luckily, nowadays, we see that type of villain a lot less. Shazam! But movie studios are overdoing it. Every year, we're going to see one of them. Like, every year, there's going to be one movie that it, but it used to be every year. Every comic book movie. The same villain would be in it. A big villain from ancient times. He has an army of disposable CGI army, and he says these big monologues in this dark voice, and... It, it, we've seen the thing I, I, over and over and over again. Valakit sucks because he has no substance. He's just a villain. Like, he is just a blank slate. He goes with this movie where it's just, everything's just... Ugh. Valakit sucks to me because he's completely cringy. And he's just like, oh my god, I've seen the whole thing again. Over. But Thor The Dark World doesn't do anything that big, that 
cool. The action is good. The visuals are great. But aside from that, this movie doesn't really try. That really sucks to me because at this point in the MCU, you'd think they figured out how to make really great movies. And unfortunately, this movie reigns as my least favorite MCU movie. Not by, like, far. It's not by far the worst. Because there's still competitors as being Captain Marvel, Iron Man 2, and the Incredible Hulk. But this one reigns as my worst. I don't really like it. I don't hate it. I think it's it, it's fine. It's, it's, eh. Guys, in the Thor The Dark World just didn't doesn't really try. It's just kind of there. Some people will find it boring. Some people will maybe love it. I don't love it at all. I don't think it's boring at all. I just think it's largely inoffensive. Fine. I'm going to give Thor The Dark World... I'll give it a 6. Is that my Marvel bias kicking in to push it up to a 6 and not a 5? No. I still think this movie has... 60 so like it's probably like a 6.2 out of 10 but it it's like 62 percent of it's good 48 percent's bad but you know I, I still think the good slightly outweighs the bad what do you guys think on thor the dark world let me know in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe uh oh god i can't wait for the next the, what do we got now the next three of these um mcu reviews are all going to be pretty positive reviews so